Hey guys, it's Jay. So, um, I totally forgot that, uh, Big Hit is doing this, um, whatchamacallit, this survey for armies. Um, I actually started, I'm on the, I'm done with the first page. Um, let me scroll up and yeah, let me just read this. So it says, hello, this is Big Entertainment. We are conducting a survey to provide better service for BTS fans. Our purpose is to reflect your opinion and provide more satisfying service for BTS fans all over the world. Although you may be busy, we would highly appreciate if you could participate in the following survey. Also, following sur uh, following survey will be conducted anonymous anonymously, and we will not use this survey for other purposes. All right, so I'm done with the first page, and let's go to 29. Oh, my God. Okay. Do you like any other... K-pop army size BTS. Yeah. Why do you like okay? Why do you like K-pop? Um boom boom boom. Okay, fine, book that too. Okay, who was the first K-pop artist you have heard of? Two and E one. What was the first channel to find about K-pop? That would be YouTube. How did you hear about K-pop? YouTube. <laughs> when did you first find out about K-pop? Um, I was in my 20s. Uh, what K-pop singer group do you like other than BTS? Big Bang. If you like other K-pop singer slash group besides BTS, what is the reason? Songs, performance, chemistry, fan service, personality, parents, you know, other good shit. Okay, next. Okay, how much time do you spend on BTS related contents? Um, I don't know. I'll probably say like an hour or less a day. Not not as bad as I used to when I first got into BTS. Uh, please rank BTS related contents based on your time consumption. Okay. Um. YouTube. Five. Song streaming. Four. Taking photo taking. One. Secondary writing. Oh, two. Video of life three. No, this is a one. This is a three. Um, oh. Wait, okay. Yeah, because I, oh, wait, okay, give it to them. All right. Okay, uh, when do you check out the information or contents of BTS? Um... Hmm. Um, I guess throughout the day, so I guess, um, I don't know, I guess all day, I guess. Oh, uh, what services, device, sorry, what devices do you use to view my good old smartphone? And yes, I have an Android, don't judge me. Um, what channel do you use to listen to BTS songs? Um, let's see. YouTube and downloading songs, but I do. I mean, I guess you can. I can put streaming songs as well for right now because I have Spotify for the moment. And um, when you stream BTS songs, do you only listen to the new songs or also previous songs? Um, definitely listen to old and new songs. Definitely. What are your fav what are your favorite BTS songs? Please write down your top five. OMG. Okay, well oh my top five. Are you serious? Okay. Cause my list has changed over the years. So we'll definitely honestly like like dead ass my favorite songs be fire. It really was originally We Are Bulletproof Part Two. But fire, like I'm still not sick of the song. So this fire, we are bulletproof part 
to my third favorite song. Um, dope. My fourth favorite song. Um, just one day. And then fourth, fifth song will probably be War of Hormone. Oops. There you go. If you could recommend one BTS song to a fan or song, would you recommend? Are you serious? Only one? This is hard because it's like you can either start from the beginning. You can start to like reset. You can kind of start to where they, you know, where they started, you know, where they kind of got gained popularity. You know what? I guess I would honestly, but you know, I would recommend I Need You just because that was the point in the careers when they, you know, blew up into the BTS that, you know, we know them now. So I guess that would be pretty a fitting song was I Need You. Which pay streaming service do you frequently use? Um, well, I don't normally use any of these because I can't afford any of these. But for the moment, I'm going to just, just put Spotify. I'm going to just put that for right now because I normally don't have, you know, out. I normally don't have, like, you know, I wish I had Apple Music, but I can't afford Apple Music right now. And I'm only having, I mean, I'm only using Spotify. Only simple fact is that, you know, um, I have a free trial. So right now I'm just going to put Spotify. Uh, what is the average number of CDs you purchase when a new album is released? Um, one, for the most part. Uh, how much, oh, how do you purchase CDs of BTS? Um, definitely online. Um, hmm. I can say Amazon. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, it's just like online, Korean online stores, and you know, I've, I've bought stuff from Amazon and eBay and shit. Okay, have you ever purchased BTS songs and albums for a specific purpose other than listening and owning? No. No, 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 no. Okay, how many DVDs will you got text? I got text, I gotta, I gotta read that later. How many DVD publications did you purchase? No, I don't have any BCS DVDs. Where do you usually buy official, I guess, merchandise? Except DVDs and most of us. I don't have BTS merch, only have their albums. Um, How many official MD products except DVDs have you purchased? None. Cause honestly, it's like that shit's expensive. Trust me, I've wanted to, but they're like merch is expensive. <laughs> it's hella expensive. So all I have is just like three posters that I bought at a concert. So it doesn't really count. And like the albums. That was it. If we provide an exclusive service that guarantees the pre buy, well, I guess pre order of BTS MDs, blah, blah, blah. Honestly, no, because the simple fact for me, again, I'm not all that crazy about merch. I'm normally, I'm just, I'm basically a album collector. I don't collect merchandise because I just don't, and I don't have room for all that stuff. I really don't. I mean, how I ain't have room for when I was at my old house. So I, just albums are just basic enough. So for me, I would say no. If we provide an exclusive service that regularly, monthly, or yearly provides, um, I don't know. I'm I'm honestly have to say no because like I, I really don't buy that. Especially the DVD. I've been wanting to get one of the DVDs for the fucking longest, but again, them shits one they sell out super duper fast, and two they're really expensive to begin with, and then trying to buy it like from somewhere else. The, everyone always bumps up the price. It's ridiculous. So, 
Have you ever purchased BTS unofficial in merchandise? Um, I don't know. Okay, my mom keeps texting me. Um, have you ever purchased BTS's unofficial merchandise? Yeah, I have. I have. I bought like a keychain. Uh, yes. If yes, what is the official merchandise? Um, it doesn't say. I'm gonna just put keychain. I, I bought a keychain at. Uh, what should I call? I bought a keychain at H Mart last year. Might have been last year. Yeah, yeah, it was last. No, it was this year. This year, last year, one of those. Um, if yes, where do you buy the official merchandise? I guess in formal stores because of the H Mart. I just put that. Okay, have you ever experienced any difficulties to buy the official merchandise because of high shipping? And delivery costs, I mean, yeah, because when I wanted to buy the light stick for the BTS concert, I couldn't because them shits were sold out and it just was expensive. I mean, at the concert, $60. So y'all got me fucked up. I said, I didn't even pay $60 for my Big Bang light stick. I'm like, oh, and plus, I, I paid EMS for that. So it was nowhere near $60. How much do you pay for shipping slash delivery when you buy official merchandise? I don't know. Like I said, I don't buy merch. I'm going to just say less than three because I'm, honestly, I don't buy merchandise. Damn it. Only like I said, besides albums, I don't buy that shit. So, do you have any army bomb? Do you have an army bomb along with the merchandise? No. I wish I did. Please tell us if you have a product line that you would like to add to BTS's official merchandise. Um, I can't think of anything. I mean, they have everything else. They have, you know, L folders that I don't buy and all this other stuff. So I'll put, no. I'm just putting no. How many times have you attended BTS concert? Once. How did you find out about the concert? Uh, I think the website. Um, which concert was the best among all the BTS? The Wings Tour. Duh. Let me stop. Why did you think that was the best? Because I was able to go to <laughs> because I was able to go to it. Say, so, like, no, I don't know if I should put that. Uh, why do I think that what that concert was the best? Um, should I really put that? Fuck, I'm put it because I was able to attend the concert. It's that simple because I couldn't go to the other ones. Well, obviously, the Red Bullet didn't go to that one. They didn't do the Begins concert in the States. They didn't do the Most Beautiful Moment in Life or the epilogues in the States. So the only ones I was able to go to was the Wings Tour. So I'll just pick that one. How did you purchase tickets? Do Ticketmaster. Have you ever attended BTS same concert more than once? No, because I ain't got it like that. Have you ever attended BTS concert abroad? No. I did not do that. I don't got dough like that to be going out the country. If there is something you wish to see more at BTS concert, what is it? Um, I don't know. Like the like the concert was fine the way it is. I mean, you know, the the concert was it wasn't like it was rushed. It was a long concert. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't, I don't see, don't know how to answer this question to keep it 100 with you. Um, I'm gonna just put, is there anything you wish to see more? Nothing. Everything was nothing. Nothing. Everything was fine the way it was. There's nothing I would take away or something I would add. You have ever attended a K-pop singers concert that, no, trust me, I would love to. Have you ever attended a, K a pop singers concert? Yes, I have. 
Yes, which pop singers? I mean, sh- I've been to. A- okay, let's see. Um, few that's not K-pop. I've seen Gwen Stefani. I've seen the Backstreet Boys. I've seen like pop, not hip hop, pop. Um. Uh, Cause see a lot of concerts I've been to have been like you know like summer jams and shit like that. It's it's I really have to go through all these damn concerts I've been to. I'm gonna just put Gwen at the top of my head. I'm gonna just put fucking Gwen Stefani. Cause that's like I'm gonna just put that Gwen Stefani. Cause that's the only people I've I the only one can like think on top of my head. Um. Because honestly, I haven't been to any like non K pop concerts in years. Only concerts I've been to have been K pop concerts these past four years. But I have, I've been to many concerts, but a lot of the concerts I've been to have been kind of like, like I said, the summer jam ish kind of concerts, like those things where it's like multiple people. And I've gone to mostly hip hop concerts. Um, so, like I said, if you want to be specific and say pop, I would say like Gwen Stefani. Because I did go see her back um and when I was as a kind of like a grad like a birthday present okay I liked this singer that's why I wanted to go see because I absolutely love the um I love Gwen Stefani back then I mean I grew up on her so what did you like about the concert just the just overall performance that was a real that was a bomb ass concert all right let's go okay have you ever been to any bts meetings no if not (laughs) too far don't have money or have something too far simple as that which fan activities do you participate in um none i mean yeah, not really. Yeah, some of foot none. Are you a member of the fan cafe? No. I don't. I'm a just. I'm a non-member. Um, I know about the fan cafe, but I don't know how to. I don't know how to use fan cafe. So, is there a reason why has it become difficult to join the fan cafe? Um. I don't know. Probably joining. The joining system seems really fucking difficult. Oh, you yeah, remember the BTS official fan club? No, and I really want to, but again, I don't know how to do that. I've been wanting to join like an official group's fan club for like the fucking longest, but I don't know how they do it. And I feel like you need to like have other, I feel like there should be a simpler way for international fans to join. Because I know Ki, she, she's, um, she's in the BTS one, but... I don't, I keep, I don't know how she, I don't know how she got it. I really want to. That looks like so much fun. All right, next. How much do you spend a year on BTS content? Honestly, a year, less than a hundred. Like, I don't, I haven't bought, I mean, recent, yeah, I don't really buy that much BTS stuff. So I'm going to say less than a hundred. How much do you spend a year on BTS unofficial content? Um, I'm gonna say don't pray because I don't normally I don't buy it like that, so I'm gonna say no. Okay. Oh, I hate these type of questions. <laughs> okay, I see myself as someone who is inventive. Um, I'm at the disagree i see myself as someone who likes to reflect and play with ideas what no <laughs> fuck i'm sorry i feel like i'm doing a fucking job application that's what i feel like i'm doing i feel like i'm doing a job application oh my gosh is big kid about to hire me because i would love to if they hired me <laughs> um i see myself as someone who has an active imagination <laughs> these are like really okay I see myself as someone who does a throw job eh. I see myself as someone who does things efficiently three. I see myself as someone who is a reliable worker now that I, that I strongly agree with 
I see myself as someone who is talkative. You know, I can be a chatterbox sometimes. I see myself as someone who is outgoing, sociable. So, mm, I'm going to have to go with, I'm going to be in the middle on that one. I see myself as someone who is full of energy. <laughs> definitely put it too. Um, I see myself as someone who is considering kind to others. I definitely strongly agree with that. I see myself as someone who is helpful and unselfish with others. I, mean, I agree. Uh, I see myself as someone who has a forgiving nature. I'm going for. I see myself as someone who gets nervous easily. Definitely a four. Um, I see myself. Fuck, I'm going for five. <laughs> I see myself as someone who is depressed, blue, go in the middle. I see myself as someone who worries a lot. Number five. That's the one thing I can't stand myself. I always worry about the most smallest shit. Okay, submit. That was it. That was one long ass survey. Oh my gosh. So yeah, that was the survey. As you can see, it's a bunch of questions, you know. Um, yeah, so that was basically it. So I, th I think the survey is going to be going on from the 1st to the 31st. So if you have not done the survey, go onto their website and go ahead and do the survey. Um, this was definitely one interesting survey. I've never seen a company or a group do something like this. I kind of wish that I kind of feel like as, you know, these, as K-pop grows more and, you know, if these groups gain more and more fans, I feel like they should do stuff like that. I feel like every group, I don't give a damn if they're a big group or a small group, if, you know, the company wants to keep the fans and wants them to, you know, give them better service. I don't see what's anything wrong with doing something like this. So I really hope in the future other groups will take note and maybe do things like this to better service for their fans. So that's pretty cool. So anywho, like I said, I don't even know how long this goddamn video is, but it's all good. So I'm going to go because my mom texts me. I don't know what the hell she texts me. So I'm going to go and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.